My capital has 80 production now. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but I'm glad it did. I was like, oh, shall I put a city on that tile? And Babylon is already on the way of a settler. Cheeky, very cheeky. They knew exactly what I was up to. It's fine. It's fine. We don't have to play necessarily friendly to get this culture victory. I don't mind doing what I need to do to get the win. We're going to go for a spy game today, I think. Intelligence agency. I very rarely use spies properly, and I need to get better at them, so... This is good practice for me. Gaul are oh, not doing well, actually. Six population, uh, sorry, 19 population across six cities. I've got 43 population across the same amount. In fact, actually, I am only second in population from what I found. Well, I guess that's, I would just, they must be cramped. They must be squished by something. Not entirely sure what's going on there. No, they look like they're on the edge of the map, so yeah. I don't know what's going on there. I have met candy though. Or oh, relics every time I find a natural wonder. I feel like on this map that would be very good. I could do with some relics. Maybe. I'm kind of already full, already filled up with relics. All the sort of things time that would space them out. Hang on, there we go. We've got my great work sorted now. Have anyone got any? What's the relic game like today? Expensive. 500. Oh. That is expensive, and yeah, unfortunately Brazil, they quite value their own great writing as well. They've got, oh, seven of the things, blimey. Yeah, they're, um, they're on it. Use my faith quickly to get my engineer. That's basically what I'm going to be using my faith on to get engineers. And Imhotep, oh, Imhotep is a good option for me, actually. Okay, Seador, that's a Petra good old use. There's Petra. Two food, two gold, one production in all desert tiles. Now, the thing about the Incans is that you have housing for absolutely days. We're basically putting high rises up on every single elevated terrain in my land. We have houses through our eyeballs. So that's really handy. Oh, buttress. Ooh, I got some butt. Um, yeah, look at these. Look at these tiles now. And the Nazca lines are only going to make these better. So this city should hopefully sweep up into some considerable population very soon. We'll get the theatre square finished there. Get the amphitheatre finished there. And that's good. We're almost at 20 pop in my capital, actually. I'm going to have to get a governor, a, sorry, spy in there quickly to protect Pingala. It's a good thing I'm building the intelligence agency because... Yeah, that was going to go a bit messy. The Nazca lands keep coming out as well, just to make all my other desert cities even better. So far, so far we are loving life. This is good. And our trade deals, again, are basically just bankrolling us. We have nine diplomatic favor coming in per turn at the moment. Uh, once all the deals are gone, you can see half of my gold income is from gold at the moment. Uh, sorry, half of my gold income is from deals at the moment. I almost made no sense with that, but that's okay. Now, this seems like a little bit of a pointless city in the mountains up here, and it kind of is because it's got no housing, but once I get a builder up into this area, yeah, it should, it should be fine. Let's just quickly do a monument, a granary monument walls, because don't forget I'm monarchy, so just by putting walls up in a city, I can make it better. Um, builders are good. I'm just, I'm hard building uh, my settlers at the moment because I really, really need to spread out and make sure that I'm everywhere I can be. Hello? Yep, we're still discovering wonders. I really could use getting candy. Um, in fact, actually, before I forget, let's stick in envoy counters too. Uh, I think that's probably the best thing to do for now. Intelligence agency Everything combined with a 20 natural. population city. I know people keep saying, oh, you need to train your spies up in other places, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just, it's going in my capital, okay? It's just happening. I'm going to put it in my aqueduct so that it hits my city center. Oh, dear. Okay, there's candy. We'll get relics every time we find a new wonder, hopefully. Assuming I have places to put relics, which currently I don't, so... That's not very good. Do I just sell? Do I sell one book? Oh, Saidia. Hello. Perfect. Okay, we've met somebody now. That's good. Oh, they'll buy my... They really like diamonds. Should I just sell one book? Brazil is super keen on buying that, but it would give me the opportunity to get a relic. But again, okay, relics aren't so important. Oh, I keep... I love the way I flip-flop. It's like, I've got this thing and I'm never going to abandon that strategy ever. And I'll think about it and I'll be like, I have abandoned this strategy immediately. <laughs> So Eastern Orthodoxy is on its way to me at the moment. That is the Mayans religion and it would give me choral music, which gives me culture equal to my faith output on holy sites. So maybe that would be something to think about doing in a bit. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Oh, this grove is finished though. 
Ah, oh, that's good. That's good. Okay, so the tiles around my capital have been improved a little bit. I'm just going to steal that one. Sorry about that. But it's too good a tile to not be worked in my capital. But that's really good for this city. Awesome. I think I'm actually focusing on getting commercial hubs in a lot of places at the moment first. And then going for the theatre square. So they, <laughs> when these are sort of landlocked areas, it's quite funny how little space I actually have. I think I'm going to steal that tile. Yeah. Um and actually steal this tile as well, just to make sure that I've <laughs> have claimed them. But that's that, that works pretty well for me. Let's go chop that down quickly before. Here we go, Mexico City. Bam! First suzerain of the world, and yeah, look, there's loads of space up here. That's good. To go and take advantage of it quite quickly. Imhotep, oh, thank you so much. That's really cool. Actually getting quite a few of these engineers just with all of the excess faith that I've got. I'm building the Jebel Barkal down in this city because that'll be... One, two, three, four cities in range of that once it's complete. And I was just having a look, actually, to see if I could spot a Colosseum city potential. And I think, actually, down here is going to be the best place for it. Um, if I were to stick the Colosseum there, I needed to make sure my capital was in range. But unless, it doesn't look like that's going to be an easy sell at all. Turns out, on this map, not a lot of flat land at all. <laughs> that's okay. We'll, we'll find a way. We'll find a way of doing it. Gee, that place would have been brilliant for it, where I was going to stick the city. But I can't do it that way, because there's no way I could put the city in and still get that preserve sorted. Oh, I don't know if I can get a Colosseum in range of my capital. Okay, if I can't do that, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Most important thing is that instead I get as many cities in range as possible. Like over here, for instance. That would be at least three cities, maybe four, if I were to pop myself down a tile there. It's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, right, what we're going to do, we'll do that. We're going to go, I mean, as I say, sometimes it's worth doing things to avoid missing out on them just because you're trying to do something perfect, you know? Like, you, you sit there procrastinating, not putting anything down because, like, you just, you're waiting for that perfect thing. That trader is now worth 17 food. Oh my lord. There's a reason my capital is just growing ridiculously now. Like, I, I, uncontrollably. I can use the word uncontrollably because it is. It's just totally uncontrollably now. In fact, actually, I can now build... I can't build builders fast... Sorry, settlers fast enough to actually stop the population growing. That's the crazy thing. World Congress time. I would love to culture bomb. That can steal some land from city-states. And I'd love it if we could... Uh, condemn, what is it? Eastern Orthodoxy keeps coming into my lands because it would be three score for me. Um, oh no, plus ten. But I did get the culture bombs, so that is something. 41 merchant points last turn. I've started to do one turn commercial hub investments, which I'm finding just comical. <laughs> it's, it's lovely. It's so good. Oh yeah, and of course I culture bombed into Nazca. Of course I did. There's the Colosseum. It's 400 production. Imhotep is going to give 350. If I just quickly switch my cards around, you can see I'm getting double builders. That's all good for now. But craftsmen, we're just going to get rid of that for a turn so that I can get gothic architecture on. Lovely stuff. And once we've done that, I can go bam. Coliseum. Two culture, two loyalty, and two amenities for all surrounding falls, cities within six Rome tiles. That's three cities at the moment, so Rome not the biggest, falls, but that will be four. I'm just about to put another city down. Huzzah! Huzzah indeed. It's all very good. All very lovely. It just stops, uh, you know, anyone else from getting it. And there's the Jebel Barkal. Six iron per turn, but also four faith to all cities that were within six tiles. Again, I think that's three cities at the moment that that will go to four. The extra faith, of course, being used to buy all manner of great people. But don't forget, culture-wise, it's always good to have faith later in the game as well. You really need it because you want to be buying things like rock bands. You want to be buying things like naturalists. It's all, it's all very exciting. Okay, we've started getting like 700 gold per turn fifted. Fifted from Cusco. I do have a spy next to it, but I think just, I know I can hear people saying it already. Oh, go train your spies up abroad. No, I refuse. Instead, I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing over and over and over and over and hope that someday it'll change its outcome. <laughs> That's humanism, by the way. So we can get art museums down now, which is quite exciting. And we turn to do this in my capital. Not long. Let's go do that. Grants a free trader in the city. Oh, 
Oh, go on then, if you insist. I mean, I know that all of my traders are going from this city, but right now, who could blame me? It's too good. It's a very satisfying little game, actually. Crazy population coming along. 71 now I've got. I have taken the population lead of everybody that I've met. There are still two people uh, that I haven't met, and they are in 4th and 7th, so no one is threatening the leaderboards that I haven't met. Which is a good thing. Again, one of these little sort of pointless looking cities up uh, to the north here, but it's fine. What I'm going to be doing again is just claiming those diamonds and making sure that if I can see a preserve, I can run for it immediately. Oh my lord, look at the cheekiness of this. The Mayans, they've settled a chicken pizza right where I was going to settle all my cities. Oh, now that is the unexpected, I say unexpected, the unintended consequence of a cultural alliance. Don't worry. There is still space to settle a city there, which I'm going to do. It's still got a bunch of mountains. It's going to be about population pressure. I am 27 turns away from being able to end a cultural alliance. So a population 9, a population 7. These cities are doing pretty nice. Like, I've got some good loyalty pressure. I just need to then squeeze this on as much as I can to make sure that when I do flip, like Chinguetti, that was a city state. I could liberate that if that were to fall. And this one, chicken pizza, I want to be able to take that as well. So... We have to just make sure we're going to settle. So what I'm going to do is get a builder and see if I can build some lovely foot tunnels across. I can start to dump settlers the other side. I think it should be fine. I can't put a mountain tunnel in any tile that the Mayans own, but I can put them around. So we're going to see what we can do. In fact, it is now officially time to start putting population pressure on. So we're going to get ready for that by just getting the traders ready. This is going to have a lovely route back to my capital. There's like one, two, three, four, five mountains already. Six very soon. And the housing in this city is pretty massive as well. So fingers crossed, it should be pretty easy to start putting the squeeze on. I also have a second spy. I can get all sneaky now, which is wonderful. Again, I'm going to put it in the theater square so that it's next to my capital but look we've got art museums popping up one two uh there's two art museums being built at the moment oh it's wonderful i'm so cultural everybody i'm so cultural i have now fully embraced by the way eastern orthodoxy which is cool i could build i could start to build some holy sites to get some culture that is an option for me we'll we'll keep an eye on it look at that 10 food five production for this city Bam! Turbocharge that growth. Let's do this thing. Oh, one, two separate markets being finished in the same turn. <gasps> I'm going to go from six to eight available routes. It's going to be great. Unless this one lets me down by not finishing. 119 out of 120. It heard me. It heard me and it disappointed me for the last time. Ugh, oh, terrible. Do I get monumentality? Shall I start to use my faith to get some more settlers? I think this could be the opportunity for me to do that. Although Hick Sunk Draconas might also be a good option if I'm starting to settle in different continents. I would give my cities a turbo charge. There's not a huge amount of settlement opportunities here now. So I think actually going for that is going to be the option for me. Let's do it. Let's make my settlers pack more of a punch rather than having more settlers. I think that's the best way around for having it. There are no more luxuries for me to claim and my cities are only happy now. Not ecstatic, but my capital is ecstatic and that's kind of what matters most. So that's okay. We we don't mind that really. Oh, I'm so close now to the water parks. Really not far away now. Build an archaeological museum. I probably should have built one of those, but I sort of refuse. Should I build the Huey as well? Because I can. That would give me plus one amenity from entertainment for each lake tile within one tile of it. I could get a grand total of one or two. I don't know if it counts itself. I think for the purposes of just being hilarious, let's build it. Six turns in my capital. I wasn't really going to do anything with that tile anyway. Is that the first beautiful theatre square I've produced? That's crazy. I'm just spamming them out rather than getting anything useful, clearly. <laughs> Right, at any rate, this is Zanzibar. Zanzibar gives me cinnamon and luxury cloves. They each provide it to six cities. This will make me ecstatic. Wabam! It's a really, really good one for keeping your empire happy. That'll keep all my yields as high and fruitful as is physically possible. Get a governor. Well, that's quite fun. Let's do that quickly. Thank you, Irene. Um, that is... Oh, three envoys to a city-state. And I can get myself Filippo with faith. Well, rush through a couple of wonders for me. I'm thinking Kilwa. 
Kilwer is always a good idea, but like Hermitage is always a good one as well to get myself some more slots for great works of art. Yeah, there's there's a lot of good options for me. Also gonna just rush by an archaeological museum to get natural history boosted so that I can almost taste. I can almost taste that water park. It's great. great. Huey, it and gives me pretty much nothing. I guess the plus one food and production for all lake tiles could be semi interesting, seeing as I have so many little lakes. I am kind of a bit of the mountainous lake district up in this central area. I mean, maybe, maybe plus eight. It's pretty good for a capital. I'll take it. But yeah, I, I feel like I probably could have done something better with that. But never mind. Oh, Belem. That's a cheeky saddle. That's a very cheeky saddle. But that would be exactly where I would need to settle to get into that preserve. So you never know. Might be able to steal it. Buenos Aires just doubles up yet again. Bonus resources behaving like luxuries. <laughs> it's good. It's good. And there's actually a bit more space over to this area as well, including Portugal, who I've just met. Lovely. Hello, 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 hello. They're actually doing not that good considering everything, but they will buy some stuff from me. Normally when Portugal appears, you can get a couple of decent trade deals to get the gold off them, but again, they're not. Like, that's not Portugal big spender like we frequently meet. The choice of where to settle here is an interesting one. The closer I go to the chicken pizza, the more loyalty pressure I will put on them. But the further away, the more good tiles I'll be able to pop down. Like already I can see this is a decent preserve tile there. So I'm actually going to, do I want to, oh, how much do I want the preserve to do these things for me? I think preserve city in this city is going to be a tough ask. So I'm going to actually settle close to them in order to put as much pressure on, I think. That is a good option for me. We'll see. We'll see if that plays out as I thought it would. Water park. Okay, this is where the capital begins to get a little bit silly. Don't forget, we have in equipped. Uh, hang on, where is it? Mexico City. Water parks reach three tiles further. Now, all the buildings in a water park normally reach nine turns, nine tiles. But it's now. 12 now you have to put 13 on the on the map to sort of show it but that is the range a water park will send it to every single city that i own it's pretty good isn't it water park is finished is the ferris wheel that's a cheap one but it's the aquarium that's what we're looking for we also managed to get a military alliance with portugal and a religious alliance with gaul so it's just saivia saivia are the only people that are being a little bit rubbish to me at the moment, and that is fine. I'm also going to start to buy the great works of writing from Brazil. Now, Brazil are my cultural contender. They are the ones producing all of the great people points to steal the great people from me. They're the ones that the domestic tourism, that's the most important thing for me to start to suppress. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So if I'm gonna buy from anyone, it's gonna be Brazil. Oh no, Zanzibar got stolen. Ugh, of all the ones, that's not the one I want to have stolen. Great writer, great artist. Good, good, good. Thing is though, as mentioned, I kind of just want to be a little bit careful because I don't want to be putting too many of my own great works down whilst Brazil has them for me to buy. I want to suppress their culture before I start to get my own too high. So there is another continent below me, or some more space anyway, which should be pretty good. And there is kill work being started as well. Rush that through. We can almost rush that almost instantaneously through which is nice. We're still building mountain tunnels. I'm hoping oh, my trade routes can't get back to my own cities just yet, but they will soon. They will soon. The best bit is that Brazil have actually been selling me all of their four culture uh, great works of writing. Some of them are better than others. Anything by Rumi, Valmiki. These are all fantastic pieces of writing. Very good. Really starting to clock up the... Uh, Tourism and culture now. Double wonder turn. There's Kilwat. That's plus three envoys as well as giving this city 30, well actually 30% boost to the yields if I've got two city states. Suzer under the type. 15% just to this city if not and then I get that 15% boost for all of my cities but I also did the Great Bath because it was like six turns gives me a huge boost of tourism and makes a theatre square in like my fifth city a little bit better so I was like you know what go for it I'm gonna treat myself to a bath I will be stinky no longer in fact actually it'll be a great bath I love the blue light oh it's gorgeous so at the moment I'm getting 15% extra faith in all cities 
15% extra production towards buildings, districts and wonders in all cities. So it's not a bad mix actually. I do want Zanzibar back though. And I think actually 15% gold in all my cities would be pretty handy as well. So I'm just going to put two in Zanzibar and three in Kahukia. That'll give me quite a lot more gold and also put me back to ecstatic in all of my cities. I deserve to be ecstatic, you know? I, d I just, I deserve it. Oh, that's a shame. A mountain tunnel can't dump you into a lake. I was like, that would be a really, really good fish to improve, but nope, it's gonna be a, a conservatory fish. Never, never disturbed. Just in this beautiful little hole. Mountain tunnel, there. Now that's a neutral ground, but that means now that I can move a unit pretty much through my entire territory. This entire mountain range is connected. So now, hopefully, there we go, we can get the trade routes from my new city to the capital. That's going to massively boost my food income. Massively. Lovely. Industrialization boosted. Again, one of the things we're going to look forward to is a nine tile. Nine tile industrial zone spread from my capital, which gets, again, pretty much every single one of my cities. Oh, it's so good. Whenever you're playing a culture game, there's always that giddy feeling of excitement when an amphitheater gets finished because you're like, yes, now I can purchase in more things of writing, all from Brazil. Brazil know what I'm doing, right? They absolutely know what they're doing or I'm doing and they're, they're charging me through the nose for all their great works. But luckily I'm just selling them resources back to basically get all my money back. I, I don't care. I don't care how many great people I have just littered unused in my land. The most important thing is that Brazil's culture is as low as I can physically get it. That's the most important thing. The Industrialization. Okay. I just get all my gold and money together and hopefully use it to buy lots of stuff. My next big project is to get a factory and a coal power plant in my capital. It's going to be brilliant. There is this land to the south of me, but I don't think it's got much mountains. So I'm not going to prioritize getting it. But certainly whilst I have access to all of this area. Look at this, in one turn, I can get my settler, boop, <laughs> over there. Oh, it's great. It's like airlifting them. In fact, it's probably like better than airlifting them because you haven't got to press all the fiddly buttons to make it happen. This is actually a really good place to have a city as well because it's flat land and all of this can be put terrace farms on. So yeah, we're doing it. 100 dairo. Oh, I actually have quite a few cities that don't have water and it's a culture city state. So that suddenly a priority for me like uh, it's very useful the conservation gives me a bit more tourism for all the walls i've been building and i have been fairly decent at getting walls in yeah look 104 tourism that's pretty good it also gives me more envoys lets me do things I'm, I'm building settlers everywhere i've got public works i'm still building that limes is good craftsman is good yeah i'm happy with the cards that i've got going at the moment that's not too bad for me okay yeah perfect so mahanjadaro this gives me three culture in every city with an art museum and an amphitheater so hopefully yeah nice little nice little boost that and capital, will you treat me to a factory, please? Thank you so much. 140 production this city's got now. 140. That's ridiculous. Sanctuaries as well. Oh, I forgot about sanctuaries. They are amazing. So two science, two gold, and two production to all of these mountain tiles that are being worked by preserves. I'm really hoping that'll be a massive bonus amount all comes through. I've got one preserve there. That's the first one. I've got a second one, building a third, and I've got a fourth. So not too many to have to build, actually. That's okay. World Congress. I'd love it if I could build quicker. That'd be pretty handy. And trade routes too. Let's go trade. I don't mind really which one that goes through. Religious gold. No, nope, didn't win either of that. <laughs> Never mind. The world's just like, we had other ideas. And I'm like, yeah, I respect that. That's fine. Can now sell all my favor though i kind of just keep it just in case of like sort of weird emergencies or something popping up but it's okay um let's get the coal power plant quickly 14 production in my capital it's not bad really is it and i can start to get trade routes of people is it worth doing that at this stage my internal trade routes are still really good but i think it's probably worth getting it yeah it's all about maxing the population in cities like if this city still got a bunch of housing that both do i could put some huge loyalty pressure on so it's worth just moving them to cities that are going to get the huge housing for now i can get i can get the extra tourism from the trade routes later when i'm a little further along and i'm down on online communities that'll be a good one for me at that point in the meantime though i am just going to start picking up some merchants because i would love it if i can get all of these 
really handy for me. I'm looking for the ones that give extra tourism from trade routes. Now that's the sort of technique that I'm practicing this game. I never get merchants enough, and I always regret it when I miss out on those ones that give all the extra tourism. It's just so, so useful. Zulu are the last. Hello, where are you? Where are you living? That's Lisbon. I don't know where they are. They haven't revealed their location to me. They are keeping the secrets. Call power plant online, by the way. Uh, what you can do when you meet somebody late stages of the game, you're like, okay, minus three. Nope, we're going to go embassy. Open borders. Give them that for three. Give them ten uh, diplomatic favor. And that should give them boom, 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 enough to hopefully make them friends from turn one. There we go. Look at that. It's the way you can do it late stages of the game. Diplomacy is much, much easier. Now, this one gives us three envoys of the city-states and 100 diary. That would be a really good pickup, but it's going to be difficult to move through to there. So where else can I send it? Cahokia or Fez? Should we go Fez? I think Fez is probably more likely. We'll get the extra from there. Oh no, we'll go there and we'll, we'll move through and see if I can get to 100 diary. Printing gives me double tourism from great works of writing. You know what? I'm actually starting to get a decent amount of tourism now, so maybe I should start sending trade routes to Brazil. Always feels like a bit of a waste, but it probably isn't. It's probably a good idea. We've also just met someone new, Mittler. Mittler in the middle of nowhere. Okay, good to know. Uh, two turns left in the Cultural Alliance, by the way. So Chikchen Itza. I think that's we're not far away from being able to claim this one now. Hermitage has been finished. Now this thing has four slots for great works of artistic talent. I guess you'd call it great works of art. You know. Such things like uh, the first few seasons of the Pokemon anime, or Yu-Gi-Oh, or even Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, all these things would be hosted in an art museum. And the best bit is, is that you can't theme it, which sounds like a bad thing, until you realise that actually you can just take all of your sort of like, junky bits and throw them in, and they don't get negatively themed. So, this is something to watch out for, right? If I show you this. This sculpture is worth three culture and two tourism. It doesn't matter if I put it in the hermitage or in an art museum. If I stick both in a hermitage, six culture, four tourism. So they're still worth exactly the same thing. But if I put the same ones in an art museum, so I've got two by Michelangelo, this one, the second one, is now only worth one culture and one tourism. So it's really, 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 really really handy at stacking them up where they're just not going to be very useful at all. So this is basically like a daycare for your terrible pieces of artwork. If they've been misbehaving, that's where they go. The lamb must be getting negative pressure now. Yes, it is 0 0.5. So that's good. It's starting to cave now. There's another religious artist. Good. We needed religion. Um, we've only got, okay, actually one in Cusco. Yes, yes. Oh, is that themed? That might be themed. There we go, cultural heritage is now themed. Good, and that is in Cusco. That is the best place for it to be themed. I don't have curator that with Pingala. That's a bit of a bit of a mistake. Never mind. Mashu finally is starting to work some decent tiles. Cusco is hogging all the mountain tiles around it though, which I might just have to steal back. I, I was doing it for trade routes earlier, but I think for now that's fine, because now what I can do is get in the grove. Bump, that's some decent tiles there. Although it's still not working any of them, which is a bit weird. Why well, are you not working this up there? Now you are. Now you are. Okay. Gonna make myself a mountain tunnel through here past Buenos Aires, because now I can get a Sattler to pop through into this little area. So like my Sattlers, I'm just sort of, I've got them on this sort of weird thing where I'm just sending them through the mountains. I'm the only one that can navigate through them at this stage until the AI gets military engineers, in which case, after that point, they'll have no excuse. Not that they'll actually use them properly, but they will, in theory, have no excuse. Oh, spy. Counter spy got promoted. What were they trying to do? Siphon funds. We did it. We stopped it. Ha ha. Perfect stuff. What promotions have you got? Nothing decent. Okay. Never mind. So, let's see how bad the loyalty pressure is. I am still very loyal. Chichen Itza is now minus 10. Oh yes, this is good. Okay, their heartland cities are still loyal, but they are in a golden age right now. So if the Mayans lose this, they're going to regret that very heavily. Now Brazil, now, this is the thing about Brazil as well. They have so many, so many districts that produce culture. If I were to go to war with anybody, it would be Brazil, right? So do I make an alliance with them? I'm not ready for war just yet, so we will make another friendship alliance with them. I will give friendship to the Mayans as well, but what I won't do is give them a cultural alliance. Let's give them instead an economic alliance. The sanctuary is complete over here. Look at these tiles. It's so much extra production and gold and science. 
Oh, I, I, I do like a good preserve. It is a lot of fun. There's Curator. I did have 165 tourism. Uh, once this all sort of squibbles around a bit. Hang on. Um, uh, I might just have to... 191. There we go. That's good. Oh, first circumnavigation. Huzzah. That's a lot of era school. So they are pulling out all the stops now to try and stop this city from falling. But the population in the surrounding cities is still growing rapidly. That's going to hit minus 20 for them before they know it. Sanctuary is now finished in Cusco as well. It's really good. We're doing amazingly. Oh, I forgot to sell some stuff for a few turns and it's like, wabam, here you go. Have all the gold in the world. We've got 636 coming in. Half of that is from deals at the moment. It's really good. Just sell everything. This is I like having a game every now and then where I'm friends with people. It makes a nice change. You're sort of like, yay, I can actually sell things to people this game. Replaceable parts boosted. That's nice. I'm just almost at steam power and I'm just starting to get myself loads and loads of barracks. So this should be a lot of fun as well. Railroad time. I think railroads combined with mountain passes gives me an amazing ability. I'm sorry, what is this? What is this? Plus four? Oh. Okay, this is a bit annoying. I can't get this. Can't get the city just yet, but um, I haven't started things like Bread and Circus projects, so there is more option for me later. She's a hold on, be patient. You'll get the city, Ryan. You will. Oh, well, look at that as well. Eight envoys in one turn. Blimey. Right, Mahanjadira gives me full housing in all of my new cities. That does make a big difference, actually. Candy, let's steal that city back. Um, that for now, and then two more in Mexico City to give myself the extra production in my capital. Perfect. That is good. That should mean like cities like this now have more housing when they all sort themselves out a little bit. Yeah, look at that. Three and seven. Only one city doesn't have housing, and I believe that is my capital. There's just, I'm using all of the uh, tiles around it, so there's just nothing, nothing left to use at the moment. I made friendship with everybody, by the way. Doesn't mean I can't go to war later, but it means that I just basically don't have to build a military railroad. Yes. Oh, so close. 200 production in my capital, by the way. 200. Lovely. Still kicking out settlers as well. This is all good. It'd be good if we had like somewhere better to actually use them, but so far so good. I have to say, as much as I reluctantly like to admit it, this Petra city has begun to get very good. It's building Forbidden City at the moment. I've got different wonders being planned in different places, like this city down south. I'd really like it to build the Sydney Opera House. Problem is, making sure that it actually has the requisite housing and, and population to do it. It can build Bolshoi though, so it will. Do that for a second, that's great. I'm removing Nazca lines, which is a little bit of a problem, but I'd rather remove a Nazca line than have Bolshoi. You know, like, certain things are just better to have. Meanwhile, in my capital, military engineer spam. Checking in with my cards again. We're still getting settlers built, lines, craftsmen. Settlers aren't so important anymore because I've got most of my cities doing other things, but I mean, settling is always useful. It's just, there's not very much good land for me anymore. Like I've got like things being settled, but this isn't even on a different continent. That's my new continent and that's pushing it slightly. I've got this. This settler is jumping across this sort of internal sea to go and get that. That's, that's not too bad, but yeah, settlers. settlers are not necessarily as good for me anymore, so let's get rid of that one. What else can we do? 49 gold per turn for Merchant Confederation, that's interesting. Colonial taxes, it's not too bad either. Gets me production in my new cities. Aesthetics would be cool. I might go, however, for invention to get myself some more engineering points because those are useful to have. I should pick up that merchant as well. Uh, trade routes to my own city, so he's the person I was looking for. Still buying books, still buying books. Somehow Brazil still has them. That's the crazy thing. Oh, they're now out. They're now out of books. Okay, good. <laughs> I was gonna say, there comes a point. Cool, right, 420 culture per turn. In Brazil, I've managed to peg below 200 the entire game, which so far is really good. I'm starting to pull out a victory. However, I don't have a single trade route to any AI just yet, so we're not even trying. That's the crazy thing. We're not even not even close to trying. I like when you settle a new city within range of all of the buildings in the capital. And it's like, it starts with 12 production because it's already got a factory pumping out to it. Brilliant. 
Oh, Portugal, I was just about to settle. Oh, that's annoying. I'll get, I will pick up that city because I've got such crazy loyalty pressure, but that's, that's a little frustrating because there are barb boats all in the way of this sea and getting that settler there was really tricky. How dare you? I do, however, have a bank now in my capital with two more slots for art and writing and things like that, so that's really cool. Uh, again, oh yes, that's right, um, Brazil doesn't have anything else, so let's pick up the music from them quickly. It's a thousand, but again, anything I can do just to suppress Brazil's culture makes it good for me. Okay, well, in that case, we'll just double check. Um, Oh, no, the Mayans are now the culture leaders. Okay, that's good. That's fine. They don't have any relics of their own. Well, that's weird. Strange. Okay, well, in that case, I'll start to pop my own. This is the Tale of Genji. Oh, new could I not have the Tale of Genji? Classic. Classic piece. My fishing boats have been pillaged. Where? Oh, here. Oh, I see. Uh, that's annoying. Uh, I don't have any units capable of defending me at the moment, so let's just upgrade one to a crossbow. Or maybe even two. There you go, metal casting. I thought I wouldn't have that. What about this now? 40 strength. I mean, it's okay, but again, I feel like I could do better than that. Probably not. Don't know what better is, really. Oh well. It'll have to do for now. So, as painful as getting rid of a 19 food trade route is, as painful, I really probably should start trading with people now. Alas. Alas, it pains me so, but I do need to get the extra tourism. All right, first with the mines, let's do that. 16 gold, it's not a bad trade route to be fair. It's just not, it's just not an Incan trade route, you know? Railroads are beginning also, huzzah. Another merchant. Uh, we're now on to industrial era merchants. Okay, that's not so bad then. Just looking out for my favorite ones. A new city over here as well. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, I love how terrible Incan cities start with. They're, they're just, they're just awful. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to sort of like hope, hope and pray you can get all the buildings sort of sorted uh, and ready for it. So I've got a builder. I can connect this up with a foot tunnel. Actually, I mean, there should be a way that I can get a foot tunnel through Brazilian lands and connect it to my land. That, that would be quite handy if we could do that. First railroad complete though. Civ 6 Railway Simulator has begun, as it always should. As it is only right that it is. Christopher Dentor gives me extra tourism from relics. Uh, and from seaside resorts. I mean, these are all quite good things, actually. Just trying to work out what does my capital need. It can't build Broadway because of the just sort of setup of all of this. Does Broadway have to be on flat land? Yes, it does. Okay, I can't build it there then. Fine. Ah, uh, Crystal Redento. Let's just do it. I, I I need some extra stuff here. This is this is fine. I'm able to steal Yerevan now, and again, large chunk of the map. Babylon has a lot of land. Oh, they got lucky. They got very lucky. I feel like I was, I was squished this game. I've just uh, picked up a cheeky emissary promotion on this city. So all of these cities, enemy cities around her, including Porto and Chicken Pizza, they're all getting minus two loyalty per turn now. You just wait. You just wait. At the moment, Portugal and the Mayans are both in a golden age. It's three turns away from a change. Let's see if they can maintain that, eh? Here we go. Let's see how the world reacts to me and my glory. That is a normal age for both Brazil, the Mayans, and a dark age for Portugal. Oh yes, this is where we get a little bit more exciting. Okay, Hicksandrochronus, if we're still settling, it would be a good one to pick up, but at the moment, our cities are just sort of being suppressed a little bit, but there's not much room for me until I sort of see more of them up. I guess there is more space that I can find down in this direction, but I just don't know how much that space is going to last. Like, I could, could take a while to get there. So, international trade routes. Can't, I mean, none of it can be plundered. That would be quite handy, actually, because I'm just about to start sending my routes out. Let's do that. Okay, that's that's fine. It's it's less interesting than Hicksock Draconis, but I, I quite enjoy it. It's very rare that extra gold is a bad thing. My immunities, however, have been suffering, so what I've just picked up, again, is a nice water park there that should... Uh, oh, damn it. It's just out of... Oh, no, hang on. It's, it's a, uh, you've got to put 11 of a new... Right, good. I was going to say, I thought I'd measured it. So all four of these new cities will get affected by this new water park. So there's the Ferris wheel and there's the aquarium that I'm hoping once that all rejiggles itself, that'll go back to having pretty much all cities ecstatic because I had a little bit of a problem earlier where that wasn't 
showing as such. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Davalax, Doughboy91, Skeptical Bear, Paul Coffey, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Nim, Amir EC, Henry, Rom88, and Radio Torre. Thanks for all your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!